The State Fair isn't the only event happening this weekend. The Three Rivers Park District needs help researching an endangered species. Shane Wells joins us now from Maple Grove, where volunteers will be catching and tagging monarch butterflies. Yes, you're looking at a beautiful flower, but this flower is important because it is a favorite of monarch butterflies. And that's why we're here talking to Elaine Tucker with Three Rivers Park District. She's an interpretive naturalist and a monarch butterfly expert with the earrings to boot. I love it. <laughs> okay, you said this flower is their favorite. We're here because there's a lot of events happening over the next month of catching, tagging, and releasing monarch butterflies. Mm -hmm. So the question people would ask is, why are we doing this? We have known now since the 1970s that monarchs from east of the Rockies here in North America, they all fly in the fall south and, and they discovered into central Mexico to spend the winter and they figured that out with tags that they put on the wings, they're little stickers. They figured that out in the 70s, but there's so many questions that we could still answer. So they've continued to do this with the help of everyday people with a great tool like this, <laughs> just going out and catching the butterflies and attaching these stickers. And they continue to do that because we know as our world has changed, as the climate is changing, that it's starting to really affect the migration and the population that actually makes it all the way to Mexico and then starts to work their way back and hatch the next generation. So we have monarchs every summer. I would be nervous to handle a butterfly. I know you do a lesson, mm -hmm. um, but walk me through the process of actually like tagging up sticking a little sticker on a butterfly and they yeah. still fly just fine. They do because they actually have their whole body covered with those scales and I know you were warned as a child not to handle butterflies yeah. and moths. It'll rub off. They won't be able to fly. They're covered with them and just like we shed hair and skin, they shed a little bit here and there and that's okay. It helps them waterproof and stay strong and if we're gentle and we hold them in the right parts that are the strongest, They've, they've got more, and so you have to hold on to the middle section of the body and a certain part of the wing, and we do teach people how to do that correctly. And then these stickers have a special glue that just kind of wiggles right in through those scales and just becomes part of that covering. And they're so lightweight with technology we have these days that we, we know it works because every year, Hundreds of tags are found by workers and volunteers in the mountains in Mexico and in the spaces in between. Love it. Well, there's a lot of events, as I mentioned, happening kind of all across the metro at different properties with Three River Park. So if you want to learn more, get signed up for one of those, and you do need to sign up ahead of time, you can head to threeriversparks.org. Back to you.